I want to become a better version of myself. This is a seek that almost every mentee of mine connects with me for. I want to become a better version of myself. And why not? You actually have just one journey. The only journey you will ever traverse. And that's called the journey of life. From the first breath to the last. And if you are journeying, there's a question of if, you are journeying, you are traversing this life, you might as well traverse it, becoming constantly a better version of yourself. And I have some amazing tips for you. Tips that work for me, because you are in the musings of an old maverick. And thank you so much for stepping into the archives of my life. So what were these six steps that I took to become a better version of myself day in and day out? Number one, the first important one is practice self-reflection. I've always sat down and done this. I would sit down, think, meditate, wonder, what are my strengths? What are my weaknesses? Where am I going right? Where am I going wrong? Self-analyzing is a very, very important asset any human being can develop with, within oneself. Because there's one very important thing in this. You just can't BS yourself. And that's a fact of life. So always sit down and reflect. Discover yourself as a human being and then see how can you get better when the sun rises the next day. Number two, compare yourself with only yourself. You know, one of the biggest mistakes that most people make is they get so flawed by looking at other people's successes, other people's statuses, other people's existences, which they feel is probably far better than their own. And therefore, they, they, they want to become them. And they use, they benchmark those, those people as their target achievement plan. Okay, fine. But as you keep doing that, you know what's going to happen? You're going to become a clone of people and not, and not your own natural self. So what's the best thing to do in life? The best thing to do is to look at what you were yesterday, study it very carefully and say, okay, how do I become a better version of that today? And day after day, you create, you keep increasing those benchmarks on yourself. Because now, infinite will be the extent to which you can actually better yourself. Because you are not benchmarking yourself to anyone else, but just yourself. And that's a great way to become a better version of you. Number three, cultivate healthy habits. Habits that are going to work for you. You know what I always do? I always listen to my mind and I listen to my body. We don't do that. Well, one of the reasons why I do that is because I don't consider myself either the mind or the body. I actually am the energy force that exists. You have it. I have it. We all have it. We are actually the energy force. So when you step away from your mind and your body, you will then be able to understand what the mind wants is thinking. Why is it thinking the way it is thinking? What is it that is wanting from you to, to help it improve the way it's thinking? The same way. Similarly, the body. Are you overweight? Do you need to work out? Do you need to actually get your body back into shape the way it was, the way it was meant to be? So, the only way to cultivate good habits is to listen to your mind. Your mind tells you what is not right for you, but you still do it because that's the way you think you want to live your life. But your mind is telling you, the better, giving you a better alternative. Similarly, the body, the body starts freaking out if you're putting all freaky stuff into it. You are what you consume. So your body tells you that, look, you're overdoing it. Slow down. Take it easy. Go easy on the alcohol. Go easy on the smoking. Go easy on the fat and starch. I can't handle it. But 
we often don't even bother. Cultivate good habits, be connected with your mind and your body and watch yourself grow into a better person. Four, and this one is a really important one. Put pen to paper. Journal, journal, journal. You know, writing with your hand on paper is, a, is the, slowest, the slowest form of communication as compared to typing, as compared to texting, as compared to talking. Writing is the slowest form of communication, but it is the best form of communication with your mind. You know why? Because the mind needs time to create its own mind movies. After all, we don't think in words, right? We think in pictures. So when you write, you're giving ample time to the mind to create its own mind movie. So when you write out what, is, what happened in your day, what are the right things, what you learned from your failures, what you learned from your successes, what you learned in general, what are things that you need to now do the next, the next day to improve on what has happened today. Your mind is processing all this as you write it and it's got all the time in the hands to process it because you are communicating slowly. And as you're communicating, your mind is creating its own mind movie and is therefore building up the inspiration for you to stick by whatever you are now committing yourself to on pen, with pen on paper for the next day. Don't go beyond the next day. Live close to the now. Live in the now and close to tomorrow. Don't get into day after tomorrow and the day, and the day after that and the day after that and go into oblivion. Just take a day as it comes and that's all that you've got to do with your pen and paper. Write out today. What went right, what went wrong, write out what you need to do, what's right and, and definitely not what's wrong tomorrow. Number five, always surround yourself with positive influences. Look, we all know that we will always be the average of the five people we move around with constantly. That's a given. But what is not a given is sticking around with those five, if those five are not progressing upwards, becoming better versions of themselves. So what's the point? Because then you're going to get stagnant. You're just going to get stagnant, probably tank after a while. Always be hungry to be a better version of yourself. I was always, always hungry to be a better version of myself. And therefore, every time I felt that my present group was sort of just, just remaining where they are, getting too average for comfort, I would make new friends, new connects at a higher level of understanding, at a higher level of IQ, at a higher level of EQ and develop myself because I know I'm going to be the average of five of them. And I have done this month after month, year after year, measuring the people I'm with and chalking up whenever it was important for me to step up and number six, and this one's a really, really important one. Believe in yourself. I've always believed in myself. I've always believed I was made for bigger things. And that might be the reason why I have, in my professional life, moved from a mere waiter all the way up to a chief executive officer of a large multinational organization. Why? Because I believed I was made for bigger things in this world. Let's, let's, let's look at some people. Anand Mingle, Narayan Murthy, Ratan Tata. Let's go out. Elon Musk, Bezos, Steve Jobs. They have the same 24 hours in their life like we have. But you know what's the difference between him and the rest of the world? These people and the rest of the world? They know that they were made for bigger things and therefore they have no limitations in their thinking, in the way they work, in what they want in life. Because the sky for them is not even the limit. There's no limit at all where they're concerned. So if you want to become a better version of yourself, take these six points I have given you and walk the streets of planet Earth till you finally become the very best.
that the world has ever seen. This is Alan Nair signing off for now. I hope you've had a wonderful journey with me in this vlog. And do subscribe if you've liked if you've liked this vlog and be the host of other vlogs that exist in my world on, in, in YouTube. And do share this with your friends if you think it's it's worth it. So there now, you take care till I see you again soon, very soon.